And I always advise my clients to get a pre-approval first yeah. before they start shopping for a home, especially when they're first-time buyers. Um, you want to know how much house you can afford, really. Yeah. So a pre-approval is great to have because then you know exactly how much of a mortgage you can afford uh, or you've been approved, pre-approved for and you know how much of a home uh, you know the price point of a home to to, to purchase and uh, when you have a pre-approval as a buyer uh, you really come from a position of strength when you're putting in an offer on a home because you know that the legwork has already been done in terms of getting pre-approved so um, you know once the client puts an offer on a home uh, usually the offer has the standard conditions you know uh, conditional upon inspection and conditional upon financing usually yeah. um, and the financing condition is very important because then the, uh, the, the the buyer has usually anywhere between five to ten business days to waive that financing condition so once they have an offer conditional on financing the client will then come back to me and we we then go to the lender with what's called a live deal and okay. we go for a full approval. Okay, so because the most of the work has already been done in the pre-approval process, it doesn't usually take five to ten days for a lender to come back uh, with a full approval. Usually, that can be done within a matter of a couple of days. And uh, you know, the the lender will come back with what's called a mortgage commitment. Okay, the mortgage commitment uh, can include some conditions that need to be fulfilled. But as long as the client is aware of those conditions and knows that it shouldn't be a problem fulfilling them, then the, you know, they, they know they've got the mortgage from the lender and they can then waive the financing condition at that point.